Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ethan Bernard. In today's video, I'm going to be making my first ever weapon review. That's right, I've never done one of these videos before. I'm very excited to make them. And without further ado, let's hop right into the review of what could possibly be the most busted, overpowered piece of shit in this entire demo. And of course, I'm talking about the Devastator sniper rifle. Guys, this is not a sniper rifle. Okay, well, okay, listen, it's a sniper rifle, but it's not your run-of-the-mill sniper rifle. Okay, you have to charge the shot, the bullets that come out of it explode on impact, and you can only carry a total of five bullets. Now... Listen, I know right off the bat you're like, wow, that sounds like trash. And you know what? At first, I thought that too. And to an extent, I still have that part of me that heavily prefers the other snipers. But at the same time, this thing is so blatantly more powerful than the other snipers in the demo right now. I just have to talk to you guys about it. Okay. Let's talk about the stats real quick. It says it has a 509 base damage. An RPM of 45, a one bullet magazine, and a total ammo capacity of 5, along with an optimal range of 60. Uh, the 509 damage is a bunch of shit. Okay, don't listen to that. When you're getting talking about base damage without any weak spots in account, the gun was doing anywhere from two to 3,000 damage in my experience. Now, of course, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Your experience may vary. Because, of course, I'm talking about a rare level 19 version of this weapon because that is the max level that I've been able to get in this demo. So we're talking about a rare power level 19 version of the Devastator for all of the numbers that I'm about to read you. Okay. I was getting anywhere in between two and 3,000 base damage on impact with an explosion. That's a hit that didn't affect any weak spots. Two to 3,000 damage is a lot, guys. That's like enough easily enough to kill a red bar ad and if you land your shots correctly and people are clustered together close enough you can actually kill whole groups of little red bar ads with this gun it's pretty crazy i was getting anywhere in between 4500 and oh about 12.5 thousand crit damage depending on what i was shooting little red bar scars with a headshot would get like 46 4700 damage a turret's weak spot would hit 7000 and the boss's weak spot, of course, would hit about 12.5 thousand or even more when you take into account that the damage of this gun stacks with Muster Point as well, which is a ranger ability that gives you plus 20% damage. So when you're talking about boss damage, you can be doing 13, 14 thousand a shot with this weapon on bosses when you're using ranger's Muster Point ability, which is absolutely nuts. And it's way more damage than any of the other snipers do in the demo okay i will stress in the demo we are in the demo of anthem we're not in full release there's a very limited weapons available to us compared to what there will be in full release and you have to take that into account when we're talking about this now starting off what is it good for okay the devastator is useful for a few things that i'm going to outline here first off taking out any high priority targets now, high priority, whether someone's about to kill your teammate, or you have to kill a specific enemy to progress in a mission, or you have turrets around, or you have a boss, anything like that. This gun is amazing against those turrets. It will two-shot a turret if you hit the weak spots in a hard-level stronghold, and it will three-shot it with body shots. It will two to three shot yellow bar ads if you hit, it'll probably even, maybe even one shot some if you hit them in the weak spot. And it's amazing for assisting with those stupid shielded bitches in the hard stronghold because those shielded guys, the shielded scar and the hard tyrant mine are a bitch to fight. And I have been killed by them plenty of times. So one shot from this at level 19 will almost completely take off the shield of one of those enemies allowing you to pull out your second weapon and melt down their actual health bar so you can get at least one enemy off your back in the midst of chaos that is the tyrant mine stronghold now on top of all of that this gun is insane for boss damage i will reiterate that many times because oh my goodness if you have one person with this you're going to kill the boss probably twice as fast as you normally would if you have two people with this let alone a ranger with buster point 
you're going to be flying through that boss battle and the boss won't even be able to crawl up that stupid wall in time before you have his damage just melted down to nothing. Okay, so great boss damage, great crowd control when you shoot rifted and like enemies that just spawn out of the rift. You can kill like almost a whole group of them if you hit the right one. The AOE damage is pretty like it's pretty consistent all around, which I wasn't really expecting. But if a group of red red bar scar appear out of a rift, you can pretty much one shot that entire group with a single charged up bullet. Now, that's my biggest gripe with this weapon, honestly is the charging up because I prefer your run-of-the-mill sniper, but we're going to talk about that in a little bit. What situations would I recommend this weapon for? Strongholds where bosses have the ability to take constant weak spot damage. Well, this means if there's ever a stronghold where the boss's weak spot is consistently exposed like Tyrant Mine, then yes, use this gun because you can use it on turrets in the stronghold, you can use it on important targets in the stronghold, and then you can just wail on the boss if you can always have a vantage point on the boss's weak spot and are never blocked from hitting it. You can just lay in to the boss when damage dealing is concerned, especially, like I said, if you have a ranger with muster point. Any hard missions you're playing that you're looking for kind of just like a, hey, that was easy, because, oh my god, even like the Ash Titans in the one story mission, I forget the name of it, like Convergence or something like that. I apologize if I don't remember the name of the story mission off the top of my head. They will get like one or two shot by this thing, depending on what difficulty you're playing on, if you hit them in their back when it opens up. It's absolutely ridiculous for hitting out those yellow bar ads. And if you just want to have something to fun that you can kill a whole group of enemies with, or kill a high level target with, carry it with you however just know that it will basically be taking up a weapon slot with something that you cannot use very often due to the ammo limitation and having to charge it up and aim down sights every time you use it now that's the other thing i highly recommend this weapon if you're someone who doesn't really care about what's in your secondary slot if you have a weapon you love like a specific marksman rifle or an assault rifle or anything like that and you don't really care what's in your secondary slot hell yeah take devastator with you this thing is absolutely insane, and I'm pretty sure you can always find a scenario, no matter pretty much anything you're doing, that this will serve useful in, even though I don't find it to be the most fun weapon to use at times. Now, here's the kicker. How does it compare to the other snipers in the Anthem demo? Now, you guys gotta realize, too, this is a review for Devastator in the Anthem demo. The full game was not released at the time of making this video, and I will re-upload a review of this weapon if it ends up being one of the end game weapons once the full game comes out. Because I'm sure there are plenty of weapons that have this exact same archetype in the full build of Anthem that's releasing next month on all three platforms. As of right now, in the demo, this is clearly the sniper that does by far the most damage of any sniper in the demo. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's my favorite. Now, yes, if you want to fight a boss, if you want something that can destroy turrets or destroy even, like, brutes or the shielded guys or anything, take it with you. Take it with you with a nice-ass marksman rifle. Have a great time. You'll be killing anything, okay? But in my opinion, this gun is not as good at clearing ads as the Whirlwind. The Whirlwind is a sniper-assault rifle hybrid and I'm really not that big of a fan of it due to the fact that Bioware made it not one shot to the head. Are you kidding me? A sniper, a gun that has sniper rifle as the archetype that doesn't one shot a red bar add to the head. And it's annoying, yes, however, it's actually pretty decent. It, it fires fast. You can spam this thing and take out a lot of enemies very quickly. And with the enemies you're killing, you can pick up more ammo. And just keep going. And I think Whirlwind's by far the best just ad clearing sniper out there. Now, my favorite sniper overall, and the one I prefer over Devastator personally, is the Deadeye. Now, would I take Deadeye into a stronghold instead of Devastator? Absolutely not. However, when I'm going into free play with friends, or I'm going to do a mission, or I'm going to capture some more interceptor gameplay, Deadeye is your run of the mill point and shoot sniper rifle. You can hold a total of 15 rounds. It does a decent amount of damage, nothing crazy, but it does one-shot red bar adds to the head and sometimes yellow bar adds, one of the smaller ones, to the head, and it's just fun to use. I like aggressive sniping, I enjoy it quite a bit, and Deadeye kind of just 
scratches that itch that I have for your run-of-the-mill sniper experience in games like Anthem. And once again, I will reiterate, this is for the demo of the game. I'm sure Deadeye will either have a replacement in the full game, or there will be many snipers of the same archetype in full release for us to choose from. Yes, Devastator is insanely powerful now, and if you're playing the Anthem demo, you should definitely, if you get one of these, don't drop it. Just keep it. Have fun with it. Whenever you get a higher level one, dismantle the lower one. All right, always keep a Devastator with you when you're doing a Stronghold, especially, like I said, if you play Ranger a lot, this gun will be super helpful for you and your team to get through the Stronghold way easier, and it is just crazy right now. Now, obviously, guys, when the full game releases, things will change, which is why this isn't really a de this isn't really a guide pointed towards full release. This is just me informing you about what I think is clearly the most powerful weapon in the entirety of the Anthem demo. Now, which javelins does this weapon pair best with? Uh, for me, I think Ranger is number one, purely because of boss damage. When I'm using Devastator, when I equip it. I have the intention of melting a boss with it. We've ran the hard stronghold over and over and over and over and over, and almost every single time, if I've had it, I've had Devastator with me because of how insane this thing is. And when you're using Ranger with Devastator, you can equip Muster Point in the support slot and have an extra 20% bonus damage, and that does go against the boss. So if you're hitting the Tyrant Mine boss in the weak spot over and over, it's doing nearly 14, it can do 13, 14,000 damage every single shot. And you multiply that by 5 and multiply that number by the amount of DPS phases you're going through, and you're going to be doing a lot of damage, especially when you combine it with your different abilities, whatever other weapon you have equipped, and whatever combos you might be doing with teammates. Ranger plus Devastator just works. Now, the other Javelin I would obviously pair this with is Storm. Because Storm has the ability to always be in whatever vantage point they need to be. So if you're fighting an enemy where it's hard to get to the weak spot of, Storm can literally just fly up in the air, sit there and hover without any issue for over a minute straight without falling down, and just keep pegging the boss in that weak spot while their team deals with either distracting the boss or clearing ads or anything. If you have a couple Storms or maybe a Storm and a Ranger with Muster Point and you have a Storm and a good vantage point, you can assure that you always have Sightline on the boss's weak spot and you can melt it as fast as possible. Devastator is a weapon that is currently far superior to any other weapon in its class, to the point that it reminds me kind of like how Sleeper Simulant used to be in the Destiny franchise. If any of you know what I'm talking about, that was kind of like the boss killer. You know, it was just the crazy damage gun back in the Destiny days. However, because the game is currently in its demo state, that means that there's a good chance Devastator will be one of the many different snipers in this archetype, and it will have a good chance of getting lost in the large mix of gear that all of us will have access to once the full game launches next month. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. How did I do? That was the first weapon review I've ever recorded, and I feel pretty good about it. It was kind of weird, but I enjoyed it, and I enjoy I'm looking forward to making a lot of these in the future. I'm going to be making a video on both Whirlwind and Deadeye sometime either this week or next. I don't know if I have enough Deadeye footage to make one right now. Like I said earlier this week, a lot of my footage from last weekend got corrupted, but don't worry, I have all weekend this weekend to get the footage that I need to make the videos that you guys want to watch. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of Anthem, we are going to have some crazy Anthem content out here on the channel for you guys. And I cannot wait to see what happens in the coming months. I'm giving away a copy of Anthem. You can enter to win a copy for any platform you choose down in the link in the description below. Don't forget to enter that. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave it a like. You know what to do if you didn't. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. It's been a minute, but I'm in it to win, and I ain't finished. This is the starting gun, and I'ma run it to the front and tell I'm number one, son. This is a rhythmic defibrillation, innovative old school to thrill the nation. I've been patiently waiting and building steam, but I'm back with the bounce like a trampoline.